the Late Late Show. Thanks for being here. Tonight we'll be chatting with Forrest Whitaker. Later we got a performance from Kane Brown. Stick around for that. I'm excited for Forrest Whitaker. Never been on the show before. Never been here. I'm excited. I'm a huge fan. Yeah. Never been here. You don't have to. You don't have to do whatever that was. It was neither a round of applause nor a sympathy or a hint of sarcasm from Lauren. It was... <laughs> yeah. yeah, good for you. Good for you. Yeah, like he cares that he's talking to you on Zoom. <laughs> Who haven't we had on the show that you'd like to book, Reg? That's alive. Ideally. Uh, oh, Lewis Hamilton. I can't hate to break this to you. Been on the show. Okay. Uh, how about? Uh, oh, we haven't had uh, we haven't had those guys. You know, it'd be a real treat and really fun to interview. Go on. Any of the members of Oasis? I can't hate to break it to you. <laughs> Noel Gallagher's been on the show. Okay, check it out. Check it out. I got it. This, this is going well. This is super easy. Go on. Um, Turns out we've had almost everybody. Um, maybe uh, we haven't had Forrest Whitaker on yet. <laughs> well, you're in luck. What? <laughs> Who's your favorite guest, Rob, that you ever had at the Tonight Ooh. Show? <laughs> 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 who's, your, who's your favorite guest? that you had at The Tonight Show who hasn't been on this show, and it can't be Obama. Can't say Barack Obama. You can't say Obama. Um, they're paired now, which made me think of it, but I also did love Bruce Springsteen at The Tonight Show. Yes. Because he's exactly who you want him to be. He just, like, noodles a guitar while he talks to you. Sure. Sick. Yeah. yeah. He won't come on this show, Bruce. Why not? I think he'll come on the show. You know what you do? Have the show on the outskirts of town. <laughs> Somewhere on the outskirts of town. Somewhere on the outskirts of a downtrodden town. There's a late night show. And he'd show up. He'd show up. You're yeah. absolutely right. That's what we've got to do. Yeah. And Just... he'll roll in in his pickup truck with a dog. <laughs> Sorry, I think. I think Guillermo just had a breakdown. <laughs> No, I felt a song. I felt a Bruce Springsteen theme song. Oh, you song thought that was a Bruce, a Bruce song? On the outskirts of town. Oh, okay, yeah, well, you do it. With my dog. <laughs> and my Clown. motorcycle and a bunch of clowns. <laughs> Can you hear the sound? It's coming straight for you. <laughs> was exceptional. I, I like that Guillermo's been a dad for like half a week. <laughs> and he's already making dad songs. And he's already singing Bruce Springsteen songs. <laughs> Let's jump into the headlines. Today, President Biden signed an executive order declaring a national emergency over the threat from Russia and then hit the country with financial sanctions. This comes after Russia interfered in the 2020 election and hacked United States networks. It's just nice to know that we already have our next national emergency locked in, isn't it? <laughs> Ten Russian diplomats have also been kicked out of the United States, and just to be extra vindictive, Biden sent them home on Spirit Airlines. <laughs> I don't care what they did. No one deserves that. <laughs> Not... Here's how the Russian diplomats went home. The first one packed up his suitcase, then that suitcase was placed inside the second diplomat's slightly larger suitcase. <laughs> which then went inside the third diplomat's even larger suitcase. <laughs> In other news, last night, Democratic lawmakers announced plans to unveil legislation that would expand the number of Supreme Court justices from 9 to 13 in order for Liberals to take back control of the courts. Four more justices. 
It's like the Snyder Cut of the Supreme Court. <laughs> But today, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and other senior Democrats killed the initiative entirely, saying they wouldn't even bring the bill up for a vote. Pelosi was adamant she had, quote, no plans to bring it to the floor. But who knows, you know? She says she has no plans to bring it to the floor at every wedding reception. Once she's had two rosés, <laughs> earth, wind and fire comes on. Let me tell you, it's a different story. She brings it to the floor. <laughs> I bet, I bet you Pelosi is a blast at a wedding. Oh, yeah. Don't you think? Two drinks, a little loose. That's what you want. Pelosi. Yeah, Pelosi. That's what they call her. <laughs> if you could add any four people to the Supreme Court, who would it be? My mom, my dad, Shaquille O'Neal, and me. <laughs> I'd want my dad on there, actually. Yeah. And not to get me out of stuff, I think he'd be fair. That's the thing with Malcolm Corden. He's firm, but he's fair. Yeah. That's all you need, just a little bit of honesty. My dad, Ivan Carmel, kind of a jerk in a good way, though. You right. know? In what way? Just he'd take, you know, when so, you know, like in society, when you're like, oh, I wish somebody would say something to him, Ivan Carmel. Will say the thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. This, none of this is going in the show, and nobody's laughed in about 45 minutes, but. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a reason for that, Ian. Reggie's been making his salad, and. With, with what looks like real dedication. <laughs> and Rob Crab, Rob Crab's been having the loudest conversation anyone's, <laughs> anyone's ever had during a monologue. I mean, like, we're here. Look, let's think about what we're doing. You know what we're doing? We're plowing the seed. You know, look, some falls on fallow ground, but my God, we're gonna keep throwing the seeds out. All I've got over there is, yeah, no, and I think that's enough. Yeah, no, yeah, this is exactly what it is. <laughs> Yeah, no, yeah, I agree. This, yeah, this can go, yeah. Sorry, sorry, what? <laughs> That's the experience. That's what it feels like up here. I'll talk softer. <laughs> it doesn't matter, cos in a... Even at your softest, even at your most dulcet tones, I still get... Yeah, well, I think the problem is... Uh... <laughs> yeah, no, I know. None of this is funny, and Forrest Whitaker's got a heart out. Meanwhile, we're up here, we're on a treadmill, plowing away, just trying to... <laughs> trying to find a way of rescuing this without being like, fins up, baby. <laughs> We've got some vaccine news to tell you about. Scientists at Oxford University are currently testing to see if mixing and matching coronavirus vaccines could boost immunity. I love that as we're approaching the end of lockdown, even vaccines are like, sure, let's swing, baby. <laughs> And mixing and matching vaccines. I can't think of a better way to gain the trust of American people than to make the vaccines like an appetizer special at Applebee's. <laughs> Shall I tell you something? Never eaten at an Applebee's. I've never been. I've never gone. What am I missing? Honestly, not a bad night. Yeah. A lot of people, I think maybe people are like trash Applebee's a little bit, but you, you go in there and it knows exactly what it is. Sure. You know? It's like a plate of fried, whatever it is you want fried. <laughs> and then a non-traditional quesadilla. Yeah. <laughs> well, then that is, as far as I'm concerned, a damn good time. That's exactly right. I'm not even joking. Applebee's, Cheesecake Factory, TGI Fridays, they're all split in the cab, you know Cheesecake what I mean? Cheesecake Factory I find too overwhelming. I don't know how a restaurant can have that many options. That, it's insane. They hand you the menu and it's this big. It's this wide and you're like... Well, and you're reading through and then you're like, Chinese food? <laughs> And then you're like, what? A whole ham? <laughs> Chicken fingers, stir-fry, burger, steak, quesadilla. And then you turn it over, you're like... Coco van? <laughs> <laughs> like, it's relentless. They must, the, the, the freezers back there. They must be more food behind a cheesecake factory. I think there's just someone driving to another restaurant back there. I think you could be right. <laughs> I think you could be right. I think they run back there and they're like, somebody ordered a Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> <laughs> and did everybody see this? A Canadian member of Parliament had to apologise after a Zoom mishap during a virtual meeting of the House of Commons. This happened. Here's a shot of him during the meeting. Look at that. Oh, fork. He was completely nude. He was changing after a jog and he thought his camera was off. Yeah. 
Well, from now on, you can call me that guy's camera because I am turned on. <laughs> The Member of Parliament apologised and explained that it was a perfectly innocent mistake, but also, if you want to see more, check out his OnlyFans page. <laughs> and we wanted to show you this. A couple in Australia was unpacking their groceries at home when they found something unexpected in their package of lettuce. They found an extremely venomous snake. Here it is here. Look at that. Now, this is Australia, so they probably opened that and were like, ah, what's all this lettuce doing in my snake bag? <laughs> Oh, I gotta tell you, Sheila, I gotta complain about this. I just found a load of lettuce in my snake bag. You... <laughs> Great galah. <laughs> they looked up, and all of a sudden, there it was a snake poking out of them. It's exactly the same thing that happened on that Canadian Zoom call. <laughs> How do Australians have such a reputation for just being, you know, relaxed and happy and completely chill when it feels like literally everything around them is trying to kill them at any given moment? Yeah, it's. I don't think you can complain in that accent. I don't think I, I don't think anyone will buy it. So I think they're just like in a good mood all the time. You reckon? Yeah. Difficult I... to. You think it's difficult to complain when you go? I think you might be right, mate. Try complain. Try sending soup back in that accent. I gotta tell you, mate, this soup is disgusting. No. <laughs> oh, mate, I just tried me soup. It's stone cold, bro. <laughs> Look at the state of this soup, man. I can't, I can't eat this, brother. Nah, it's all right. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Lord help us. <laughs> Moving on, Sega recently announced a new video game called Final Battle, but the promotional poster for the game has caused some confusion, and you'll see why, because it accidentally looks like the game's called Anal Battle. <laughs> <laughs> the game takes place in a post-apocalyptic world 30 minutes after eating at Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> Anal Battle. It's a video game you really only get to play on birthdays and anniversaries. <laughs> And finally, in Hamburger News, a California restaurant chain called Farmer Boys is offering customers free burgers for a year if they get a hamburger tattoo with the restaurant's name like this. Now, it sounds like a good deal, free burgers for a year, in exchange for a lifetime of having to explain that tattoo to every person you ever meet. <laughs> a tattoo that says Farmer Boys. I guess it's better than a tramp stamp that says In-N-Out. LAUGHTER